Hi everybody, I thought I'd go ahead and get started. A lot of people are popping on to the live already. So I'm gonna just welcome everyone. I know you'll be getting an ad or two as you have to skip through those, but it takes, I don't know, to catch up. I think there's a lag of like, I don't know, 30 seconds? Maybe not quite that long, I don't know. Anyway, Thank you so much for joining tonight. I really appreciate you all. It is so fun to have you with me tonight. Um, how is everybody doing? And there's Leo. There he is. Whining and fussing. I see a lot of folks on. That is awesome. So let's see. Hi, Rochelle. So we have Sissy Sue on tonight. Sissy, um, I guess, do you go by Sissy Sue? Um, so where are you located? What state are you from, Sissy Sue? I'm trying to, I'm trying to watch the detail. <laughs> trying to watch everything. It's like, uh, that's why I have Terry Lynn. She's here to help me. Hi, Carla. Hi, Amber. Hi, Denise. Hi, Pam. Let's see. Uh, Judy's on. Let's see. Who else is here? Um, I'm getting the live chat over here. Yes, it's Leo. <laughs> you can hear him. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Mandy. Good to see you. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Sabrina. Hi, Diane. How are you feeling today, Diane? Here he is. In all his glory. <laughs> Say hi, Leo. Oh, you got to get a glimpse of the kitty, right? <laughs> all right, get him. He doesn't want me to hold him. He just wants me to give him, you know what, those temptations. He loves those. <laughs> Deborah Lovell is Sissy Sue. Oh, cool. Thanks for joining. We're glad to meet you. It's really fun. You're from Lubbock. Oh, cool. Just down the road. Down the road into Texas. Nice. And Caroline, hey, you made it back. Sam's birthday is this Sunday. She's turning 30. Yay. Is Sam going to be on tonight, Amber? I haven't seen her in a while. Hi, Patty. I assume Alice is with you. Thank you. Yeah, he, <laughs> my kitty cat. Yeah, so he is the social one that uh, talks. He's vocal. He likes to talk and he likes to have his way. So, and then I have another kitty, Joy Kitty. They're brother and sister. And um, so you're okay, mostly. Okay. Hi, Alice. Oh, yeah, how was everybody's Easter? If she wanted to come home with me and stay a few days, and she said 20 minutes. <laughs> <coughs> That's funny. Oh, she's not going to be on. Well, would you please wish her happy birthday for us and for me? Hi, Pam. How are you doing, Pam? How are you feeling today? So, I did want to let everybody know um, it has been a really hectic around here. I did get part of the prizes for National Craft Month out already, and I have about six more to get mailed, so I will try to get those mailed by the end of the week. I have all the other prizes and giveaways that people have won already out, so that's good. Um, some of these prizes are kind of big, and so I have to take them into the post office, and I'm not always available to do it. So I just have to, I got some of them done and then I'll get the rest done. So that's where that is. Patreon will be done next week. So if you're a Patreon um, member, thank you very much. And that will be next week. Thank you, Amber. So I'm eager to know when you get your prizes and if you like them. Um, this is my shirt. Vintageize it. You know, you guys kept telling me, you need a shirt, you need a shirt. So, I did get one. I love it. Matter of fact, I'm going to give one away tonight. <clears throat> That's the prize. We're only going to have one prize tonight. It is for this shirt. Now, I will tell you, I only, had, I only could order 
one, so I ordered an extra large. So if you're a small person, you could sleep in it or shrink it or something. And I'm sorry, that's just the best I could do. So I do have one. That's the prize tonight. So for the Chaos and Games prize. So anyway, I know not everybody is extra large, but I thought, well, if I get that, then you can either take it in or tuck it in or, you know, cinch it up or sleep in it. So, uh, <coughs> Pam, you're having a rough day. I'm sorry, hon. Well, just know we all love you. You're not by yourself. Mandy, how's it going? <laughs> Forever blessed. Hi, Shelly. Good to see you. So anyway, excited about tonight's uh, craft. I'll show you that here in just a minute. I have about four sizes here I want to show you. You can do them any size you want. But, um, but the hidden note uh, pockets are really fun. And so I uh, just thought I would show you that. And then let's see. Egg hunt for, oh, that's fun. Egg hunt for your dogs. Well, that is too fun. I didn't think of that. Actually, I was just so busy. I just didn't have time to, I don't know. We had a big Easter egg hunt. We stuffed 1,020 eggs for our kids at Kids Church. So, how many of us are vintageized? That's right. Vintageize it. Vintageize it. That's right. And we're going to vintageize our pockets tonight, too. It's my word. <laughs> uh, so, Sissy Sue and Forever uh, Bless Shelly, some of you um, are a little bit new. You broke your toe, Sabrina. You're not supposed to do that. Bridal shower at the end of the month. I knew it was coming. The rainbow umbrella cart. Oh my gosh. You guys, these are... Did you guys see the videos? These are all videos that I've done. But these are really beautiful. Yeah. Really pretty. If you want me to show you later, I can. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Laura. Yeah. Leo won't stop. All right, I did get some friend mail. I thought I would share it. It makes me happy. It, I call it happy mail. <coughs> Excuse me. I was going to do a video just on it, but then I thought, well, you know, you guys are all here, and I would just share really. Your church does 10,000. Oh, my gosh. That is a lot of eggs. That is a lot. I thought 1,000 was good. <laughs> So this is from Debbie Music. Isn't that cute? She made me a little card for Easter. Happy Easter, love Debbie. Oh, how cute. It's really cute. She made it uh, on the inside too. So thank you, Debbie. I really appreciate that. Thank you for thinking of me. Uh, Debbie has a channel. I don't know if she's really been pushing everything to it yet or not, so. And then I got this from Debbie Walker. I don't know if Debbie's on or not. Vintageize. That's right. We got to vintageize because we love junk journals and we love vintage. So Debbie made me this beautiful card. Look. Look how pretty. Oh, it's full of goodies too. Look how pretty. Oh, I love it. Oh. Oh, this is about my mom. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, Debbie. Oh, this is a really beautiful card. She wrote some really sweet things in there, and then she sent me some ephemera. How fun is that? I love it. Thank you, Debbie. You're so sweet. I love the card, too. I love that paper. So, see... I, I am not the only one, everybody, that really likes paper. And it's hard to use it because then you might not find it again. <laughs> so, so, I don't know. Is anybody else? I am hot today. I was cold earlier. This is from Elaine. Elaine, my Florida friend. Yeah, love to vintageize. Me too. I have a cute cat. I have a cute dog. I have another cute cat. They're sweet. This is from Elaine. Get it out. 
And Elaine uh, just went through moving, so that's a big deal. Um, having to move. You don't realize how much stuff you collect, really, and then you have to box it up. So, oh, stuff is falling out of this one, too. Oh, goodness, this was a Valentine's one. I guess I just didn't open it. I wanted to save them and share. Thank you for the Valentine's card. I love it. Oh, she got her prize. Yeah. And then she sent me some fun stuff. So I'll use that. You know, I keep my stuff. Oh, this is very cute. Look at this one. Let's see. There we go. It has, it has um, little hearts in it. Anyway, I keep my mail and I set it aside and with mom and all of that and then with uh, end of year and then taxes, already did that one, and then just everything it has been very busy. <laughs> yeah, so the t-shirt, yes, so I was going to, well, I'll go ahead and share. So the t-shirt, that's a little bit better. I to love it. <laughs> My modeling career. But anyway, there's a 10% off coupon, and you'll see it when you um, get on. And it is, um, I tried to make it reasonable, but I guess because of Teespring, it's, it's, it's kind of a lot, but um, they'll make it on demand, so you can order it, and I don't have to have stock. So... Let's see. I know, paper packs. I know, it's just so hard. All right, so this is from Judy. Is Judy, was Judy on or was that Jean? Um, Jean. I think Judy's on. So Judy sent me a little something, something. Let's see, I'm trying to figure out how to open it. Hold on. Let me put my picture on my... How do I open this, Judy? Okay, here we go. Oh, my goodness. Talk about paper pads. Okay, so she sent me this box right here. And she's so sweet. You're so sweet. Okay, so Judy, thank you. Vintageize everything. Vintageize it. That's right. Oh, my goodness. Look at these papers. Thank you. Just even these. Oh, this one is so pretty. And then this one, too. This is the Rustic Cottage, 6x6. And this is the Tea Party. Vintage Tea Party, by the way. <laughs> Vintage eyes, everything. That's right. Oh, look how pretty. These are like little roses. Let's see. They got, oh, am I going off the camera? There we go. I got to figure out where the camera is, actually. These are cute. I hadn't seen these pink and the white ones. <coughs> and then some pretty flowers. Just got to get ready for spring. Do some fun. That's why I'm just into these colors right now. Color Your World is a really fun collection. I didn't get everything for it. But the papers and just the umbrella and the little girl in the umbrella. I mean... It just makes you happy. So it just makes you happy. Pretty, yeah. And some butterfly stickers. I love these. And then what is this? This is, it looks like some papers that she cut for me. So look at these. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, thank you, Judy. I feel spoiled. Well, let's see what else. They almost they almost look like um, wallpaper. Is it wallpaper? There are some pretty ones here. Pretty. Thank you, Judy. Oh, here's my note. Here's my note. Oh, it feels like my birthday. I don't want to miss anybody. Elizabeth, you made it. It's nighttime where you are, girl. Hey, Debbie, thank you for my card. Oh, uh, she said, oh, uh, she wanted to just send me some happy mail. Look at that. Thank you. I won't tell you everything she said, but, you know. 
All right, she sent some little mini pockets already made. Look at this. I'm like super spoiled. So we got those and then some little note cards, little mini cards, and some mini file folders. So <laughs> tell you, I was going to have us make some mini file folders. These are really smaller than I was going to make them. You get a lot in here. Look how many. I can't read. I can't read the thing that says how many. But there's a 30. There's 30. Wow. Goodness. <coughs> I think I need a drink. And some washi. Oh, this is fun washi. Look at this washi, you guys. Cool beans. Oh my goodness. So there's a little bit more some stickers and some pearls. Let's see. Get a good. And some stickers. Little pouches of stickers. And this one has an ephemera. I think there's ephemera. I'm not sure if there's stickers or, or ephemera. And then this is some little seals. These are like seals. Like you seal your envelope. They're little plastic seals. And then here's some flowers. Oh my goodness. And some more flowers. Cool. Thank you so much, Judy. This, I don't even know how you got all of this in here, but I'm going to try to put it in here until I can put it away or maybe even use some of it. Thank you, Judy. You're so sweet. That is very kind of you. I'm really blessed. You guys bless me. All right. <laughs> you don't have a lot of paper, Rochelle? It's hard, huh? An old ledger book, yeah. I'm trying to catch up on some of this chat. So I will tell you, the way I started doing it, the giveaway at the end is the more you chat, the more chances you have to win because I will, um, you know, scroll through. I'll just spin the chat at the end and pick the winner. Now, um, today we just have one prize. Usually we have three, but I'm just going to give away the t-shirt today. So more chat, more, more options to win or more entries. You have too much paper, Denise. I have a lot of paper. It's hard to get rid of it, though. I just want to, because I might want to use it. So I might, oh. Okay, well, let's get to our craft. Um, thank you so much for supporting my channel. Super chat, super chat, super stickers. Those are all there. Super thanks is there if you want to. Um, we're going to jump in, and we're going to make some hidden note pockets really easy. I'm trying to make it the easiest way possible for you. And you can use any of your papers. I would suggest a cardstock or a heavier paper rather than like a notebook paper or even a dictionary page or something. Use that to um, cover it, you know, if you want. But it, but use the little bit heavier cardstock for, for this project. All right, so I'm going to switch the camera and maybe the light. Maybe I need a little bit more light. That's not too much of a reflection. Let's see. There we go. Uh, Cindy card, did you get it? Wow. Just sent that quite a lot. Yes. Uh, I, I, well, what I did was I put all the cards in a stack to share for Happy Mail. And I just never did record it, so I thought I would share it tonight. So I didn't just get it. I've had it a little while. Um, <clears throat> did you get the ballet paper from Timu? Yes, I got the ballet paper from Timu. And it is paper, so it's not cardstock. So just FYI on that. All right. So these are the hidden note tags. This is the first one I made, and I wanted to make it in a non-vintage uh, look just so that you would know that you can do it either way. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so your note is right here, and it just fits inside here. 
And if you want to put it in your um, in your journal, you wouldn't want to glue down the top part. You would just glue the bottom like that. All right, so that's one. And then I made this one, and I put a little pool on it. You have a lot of paper. I'm an addict, yeah. This is, this is where you come, Elizabeth. <laughs> all those that are, all those that are addicted to, <laughs> to crafting. That's where we come. Okay, so this one uh, made with the Vintage Diary papers. And so these are all different sizes. And it's really pretty cool. Yep, I've been collecting for a while. <laughs> yeah, I bet you did, Denise, when you were two. All right, this one I put a little ribbon on. I did staple it. Um, you can staple in junk journals, so just so you know. I don't a lot, but you can. And then I put some, I decorated this one a little more, and then you just put your little tag. Now, if you wanted to, you could put a picture here. And I started to do that, but I just ran out of time uh, preparing for um, tonight's video. And then this one is a little bit larger. This one's like a four by five. And of course, it's really the same thing. So it's, I'm gonna show you how simple it is to make. You can make it however you want it to be. And these are really, really simple and fun. And um, if you just wanna do something to craft and you just can't think of what to do or you don't wanna color or you don't wanna, um, you know, cut cut bunch of, I don't know, die cuts or whatever. Um, cutting these little rectangles is pretty easy and then just set them aside to decorate them. They're really fun and you could do anything you wanted. So I have my trimmer here, which you are gonna wanna trim your paper. And I've already cut some, but I'll show you. I'm using the um, Vintage Diary Collection paper pad from Sara Davies at Crafter's Companion. This is a really beautiful collection. I can't say enough about how beautiful these papers are. And, um, you know, she only makes them like once. And then when they're all gone, which the papers always seem to go fast. <laughs> Here, let me see, I can't see you guys. Or you can't see me, so we got to do that. All right. <clears throat> so anyway, and then for the inside, I wanted to have lines. You don't have to have lines on your paper on the inside of your hidden um, note card, but or pocket. But I had this cardstock. This is um, from Art C, and it is something I purchased at. Tuesday morning long ago and it has these really cool like ledger pages and note pages and they're all vintageized already so it helps you know so I did already have the those set aside so what I did was I took my 12 by 12 paper and just to make it easy I cut it in to four inches by five inches. So this is a four inch width by five inches. You could make this any, I know Elizabeth, I know you love Crafter's Companion too. Yes, they sell out very quickly. I know, it's beautiful. Hi two in 62, hi Natty. All right, so anyway, I cut these four by five just to make it easier. And so I've, I have enough to make three. I don't know that I will, but <clears throat> so if this is, this is my paper for the note card and I'm gonna want it going up and down. And I've played with it a bit to make sure it fits and pulls easy. Um, <clears throat> I suggest that you cut your inside paper to three quarters of an inch smaller in width and an inch smaller in length. So if those are four by five, then this needs to be four inches in for the height. Where are my little 
thing came off. Four inches in height. And then if it's four inches wide, I want it to be three and a quarter in width so that it will fit in here easily with the glue and everything. <coughs> and since I made these all the same, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these um, for assembly. Are there any questions? Hi, Quilty. So let's do <coughs> three and a quarter. And then one more, we'll do four inches. So remember, an inch shorter than whatever size your pocket is, and then three quarters of an inch um, in the width. So if you make a three inch, you know, depending on what size pocket you're making for your hidden pocket, okay? Oh, I heard some Tuesday mornings were going out of business. Um, so far, mine are staying open. Like the shirt, Nettie. Yay. All right. So I'm going to set that aside. I am going to use my little corner punch because I want these to be uh, rounded um, like I did here. And I'll show you on this punch. This is a crafter's companion punch, but you can buy different ones, different corner punches. You can see how rounded the, the corners are going to be depending on which there's three different ones. So this one's a little more pointy uh, and it's number four. This one is rounding to a seven and this one's rounding to 10. I like the larger. I like the two larger actually and not the smaller. So I'll show you how it rounds. So what you'd wanna do is cut your paper first. And if you are gonna round your edges, you just put your um, paper in catty corner or diagonally and you just punch it. This is the easiest, I have to say, this is the easiest corner punch I have ever used. I'm just going to tell you. Not because it's Crafter's Companion. I mean, you know, guys, I love Crafter's Companion. But this right here, this little punch, this, I mean, it's no effort. <laughs> it's just really awesome. All right, so I'm gonna, um, oh, I didn't get that all the way in there. So I'm gonna round these. What am I not doing? Oh, I, I'm not getting it all the way in there. Anyway, I'm being, I'm talking too much, I think. Okay, let's make sure I get that all the way in there. Because if I don't, there we go. And then you just, you just throw these little pieces away or save them for, Whatever, confetti. All right, so then I have my two pieces. They're the same size. Can you guys see okay? Yes, and you can make it a card as well. Um, you can add it to a card. You could put happy birthday on the inside. Yes, yes, the papers are really cute. Yeah, and you could also like stamp on it. So, like, if you wanted to, let's just do that because I have some stamps right here. Have some fun stamps. I have this butterfly. I love butterflies. <laughs> All right. So, let's just use this one. And so, on the inside of your card, definitely you can add whatever you want, especially if you want to add, um, you know, like a picture or something. Yes. All right, so just say you wanted to add just a little something to the inside of your card. Wouldn't that be nice? I mean, that's simple, right? So you could really do all kinds of stuff with, with this. It would, um, you want to make sure it's big enough to hold whatever your card size is. Yeah, okay. All right, so we're going to set that aside for now. So just um, before I, I did tell you I was going to vintageize everything. Well, I am. I'm just going to go around the corners. Even though this paper is vintage already, you know, I like that distressed, aged look on the edges. So, we're just going to do that. The ink I'm using is just a, an inexpensive cocoa dye ink. 
that I got it Tuesday morning for like a dollar seventy nine or something. And I've been using it for a long time. <clears throat> Let's go ahead. And now I'm not going to round the corners on this piece. Just on the outside piece. <coughs> Alright, excuse me. Alright, so now what we need to do is I'm just going to use some tacky glue. Oh no. <laughs> oh, well, a hot tub. Nice. Alright, so on the inside, you're going to put glue or you're going to, you can put tape or whatever you're, I would in hot glue, but that's just me. So I'm just going to take a thin line of glue around the edges, pretty close to the edge, maybe an eighth of an inch or so, or a quarter of an inch, whatever that is really close and you can see that's pretty close to the edge I don't know if you can see but let me see if I can pick it up so you can see that's pretty close to the edge okay so then I'm gonna take this piece and just we're gonna just line it up together now <laughs> the shirt said so yes now don't mush your card around when you put it together so just line it up and then you're going to stick it together. Now, if you have to move it a little bit, of course, that's okay. But if the more you, like, move that glue around, the more it's going to move on the inside. Because you need that inside to put your card in there, right? All right. Now, this is going to have to dry just a touch. So, let me look at the chat for a little bit. Make sure you guys are chatting, if especially if you want to have a chance to win one of these vintage Isaac shirts and I just have one and it's an extra large so just to let you guys know Jamie I hope that you're okay <laughs> the shirt said it okay so <clears throat> maybe I will do one more while that one's setting up so we're just going to do the same process. I'm just going to take my corner punch and punch my corners with the 10. I'm using the 10. Kind of like that. The best. I like the 7. The 4 is a little smaller and I just, it's okay. I think it would be good for small projects are small pieces but this is a pretty good size piece all right so again what do we do we vintageize it <laughs> oh. oh Shelly is getting to know everybody aren't you the live streams are so fun <laughs> I'm trying to watch everything, too. Oh, Diane. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing with this one. We're going to go ahead and glue it. You'll make it fit. <laughs> That's right. Did I make the shirts? No, actually, I designed the shirt, but it's I sell it on Teespring. Because they will create, they'll print them and mail them directly, so I don't have to do that. But I ordered one just for Subscriber Appreciation Month, so that I could send it out to someone and give it away. I want to make sure. I could probably make it, but I think it's easier if I don't have to try to. I hope this one is a little bit smaller. I'm going to have to trim it. I must have cut it about an eighth of an inch different. So I'm going to trim this up real quick while we're talking. There's always a way. And if you make a mistake, you know, there's really no mistakes. I just want to say. I mean, you, you might make a mistake and you might feel like, oh, that's not salvageable. And, and okay, well, maybe, maybe that's true. 
A lot of times you can cover them up in crafting. Has anybody ever made a mistake on here? Or never made a mistake? <laughs> but, um, let me trim that. And give it a little more vintage. But, um, if nothing else, you did learn something from it, right? So, I don't see any mistakes in crafting. Okay, so we're good now on that one. All right, so let me show you what you do now. Here we are. There's our card. Let me remove my stamps that I hadn't planned to use. Put them up here. Now, my suggestion, and you can do it however you want to. <coughs> is to decide which side is the bottom or the top. Sometimes it doesn't matter, sometimes it does, depending on if there's words on it. And however um, your size is, like for this size, I want to cut it about an inch and a half off. So you ready? There it is. Cut it off. <gasps> I did, I cut it. All right. But now you can see inside here is where my hidden note is going to be. So what I need to do here. Oh, nice. Ready for the summer? Bought a new. I just want to get the largest one is. Looks like yours, but it is craft tool. What? You bought a new, what'd you buy, Debbie? Trying to follow the conversation, I missed it. What'd you buy, a corner punch, Debbie? Sabrina. Oh, Sabrina. Okay, all right, so now this is where our hidden pocket's gonna be, so we're gonna take our paper, whatever it is that you choose, and you wanna make sure that it fits in just fine. So we cut it three quarters of an inch smaller, an inch shorter, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna take my glue. Yes, we can always fix mistakes. And you're gonna put it on the front and the back. Now I didn't vintageize the back, I meant to, but I will do it after. All right, so then you're gonna take your card and you're gonna to want to try to get it as close to the middle as possible, all right? And then before you totally press down on it, you want to test it out. <laughs> Believe me. All right. So it fits just right. So now I can push that in. And I have my hidden note pocket. Just like that. Now you can dress it up however you want. You can punch a hole, add a ribbon. You can do all kinds of fun. Add flowers and stickers and all kinds of fun stuff. Whatever you want to do on to decorate, you know, and that's how you make so easy, right? Really, really easy. All right, so let's just do this one one more time. So, vintageize, vintageize. What do we do? We vintageize it. Let's do the other side since I didn't do the other one. And again, you can put a sticker, you can put a card, you put, I mean, a, a butterfly. Here, we'll just do another butterfly, right? We like butterflies. Oh, I'm kind of missing some of the conversation, but that's okay. All right, so I'm just going to put that one there, and I'm just going to put a faint one up here. Because we're going to write on it, right? <coughs> it's a note card. All right. So now, what did I say? Cut it a half, one and a half inch. So this is five inches. So I'm going to cut it at three and a half. Let me get it. I didn't go all the way through. There we go. Doesn't look like it was even, but okay, here we go. Okay, so remember, remember we're going to take this paper and make sure it fits in here. 
And if it's too big, see this one just fits. This must this is, must be the one I trim. I'm just gonna trim this down just a little bit. So I'm gonna make it about an eighth of an inch smaller. And it's just sometimes you have, that's why I say test it out to make sure because sometimes when you cut, it doesn't always cut the same. Don't forget to poke Jamie. All right, so this fits in here now. Gonna take our glue, right? Both sides, not just one side. And then you're gonna put it inside the top. And you wanna try to get it as close to the middle as possible because that's gonna affect how it goes into the hidden pocket, right? So then just open your pocket. Slide it in and make sure. There it goes. Now, if something doesn't look quite right, like to me, that one looks a little bit off. So you could just add some lace. So let's just add a little lace here. Now you don't want it to affect the pocket, right? But do you want it to look good? Sure. Okay. And trim this. Put a little more glue on here. And then, of course, go ahead and decorate it how you want. Right? Hi, Erica. Looks like we're all growing. You have to watch it again. Okay. Well, let's start over. All right, I've got one more. So the, I have two sheets, last time, two sheets. Now we're going to cut the, uh, or round the corners. Now I like to round the corners. You don't have to round the corners, but, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> keep coughing, I think I have a dry throat. Um, I like to round, I like to round them, it just looks finished to me. I don't know. I like square corners too though. Doesn't matter. Alright, so rounded the corners on both of these. You like them? Okay, so this is a four by five. Okay. So now vintage eyes it, ladies, gents. I don't know who's watching. Everybody. <laughs> Yeah, these are easy, um, and you could add them to cards. You can use them in your junk journals. You can put them in scrapbooks. They can be the card, as um, somebody mentioned, Amber. What's it, Amber or Carla? Um, they could be the card, and you could put a picture in there, a gift card if, it, if you make it big enough to fit. Just remember, your pocket needs to have room on both sides of it for it to slide up and down. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. We've, we've rounded the corner. We cut our paper. We rounded the corners, and now we've vintageized it. I'll flip it over. You're going to take your tacky glue, and you're going to go really close to the edge around the whole thing, the whole entire thing. Okay. I got really close to the edge there, didn't I? Okay. Then what you want to do is when you put the front and back together, make sure your wording is the right, you know, top and bottom. Hi, truly amazing. And then put them together. You don't want to mush them around. You know how you normally would. See, this one's off a little bit too. I might have been talking too much. So I'm going to have to trim it. I mean, it's just like barely off. Some of these... I don't, I don't know. Some of these trimmers, like this one, I don't know whether to cut in the line like I want to or if I want to cut on the other side of the line. I think sometimes I do both, and that's what happens. All right, so we're trimming this one to make sure it's even. So we want it to look even. Okay, fix your mistakes. All right. Okay, so now we've done that. Right? I will tell you some of these corner um, 
corner punches. They only go through one sheet. So, you know, take a drink real quick. Yep. Oh, yeah. My blending tool. Yeah, this is from Dollar Tree, and this is just an old pill bottle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just glue it on to the top. Sorry, I didn't explain that. Did I miss that question? Sabrina asked the question about my blending tool. I do have a video on it, um, just to explain it. <coughs> Okay, so this is just an old pill bottle, and these are, you get like 60 or something at the Dollar Tree for the dollar twenty-five now, and I just glue it on top of here, and it works really awesome, and it's cheap, inexpensive, let's not say cheap, because it works well. All right, so now we've glued that together, right, and this is right at five inches, so we're going to go to three and a half and cut it. Oh, we did, we just cut it. All right. Now this is where my paper, my hidden note is going to be glued in and it's gonna slide in here, okay? So we just made that. All right, so let's make sure, this one seems a little bit big to me, so I'm gonna check it out. That's right, Creations. Well, it fits just fine, so I think it'll be fine. So what we're gonna do is we're going to vintageize this one. I told you we're gonna vintageize everything. All right. I just, I don't know, I like it. I like my other blending tools too for different reasons, but this for the vintageized effect works so good. And dye ink, not not um, pigment ink, because then it will take a while to dry unless you're going to dry it. Another tip today for blending, spritz water on it. There is a ton of ink. Yes, on your paper, on your pad. Okay, so then we're gonna put glue at the top here on both sides to glue it in. sure which is which which is which so paying attention like this side is this side we'll make that the front oh my goodness that's a lot Diane okay so we want to make sure we get it as close to in the middle as possible so it slides easy so let's try it before we really put it down because we can still pull it out of there before it really sets, but it works just fine. So there's our hidden pocket. So that was it. Again, we made these three in just like a few minutes. Made these earlier today. Uh, and again, you can decorate them however you want. All right, well, we've been going a little while. So how about we do a quick game? And I don't have to write names down anymore because we're doing um, the spin on the chat. So don't forget to enter your name on the chat or enter a chat in the chat. Can be anything. <clears throat> All right. Let's get that out of the way. All right. Here we go. Today we're playing Crafty Scramble. Question. Enter one comment on the Friday. You can enter every day on the Friday giveaway. <coughs> Just like always. If you share, you can enter again. Let's see. Who asked the question? I'll make sure. Yep. Yep. You can enter every day. The things toddlers say. <laughs> oh, you guys are doing great. All right. So we're going to play crafty scramble. So I'm going to put down here on my um, table a word that's all mixed up and then put in the comments what you think the word is. Okay. Here's the first one. Let's see how many of you get this one.
I don't, I don't wet the tool. <laughs> I don't wet the blending tool. Is that what you're asking? I'm not sure. Okay. Let's see. Can you see it okay? I think so. Um, Alice's pocket. All right. It is pocket. Jamie, stay awake. It's game time. <laughs> All right. The next word. Everybody seemed to get that one pretty easy. What is this mixed up word? Okay. <laughs> What is this mixed up word? Or letters, what is the word? <clears throat> I know that there's a lag sometimes, it's okay. Very good, yay. <laughs> uh. Word search all week, who knew? <laughs> Ah, yes. Everybody's getting it. Good job. That is correct. That is correct. Oh, I guess I didn't print it. Did I not print it? It is journal. I guess I didn't fix it. Okay, it is journal. All right, next. It's okay, truly amazing. It's all right. Are you lagging behind the words or it just behind everybody else? <clears throat> it's okay. <coughs> um. Oh, thank you, Janice. It's all right. Hi, Debbie Nelson. Ah, very good. I, I didn't do vintageize it, though. <laughs> Erica, everybody's getting it. Good job, everybody. Vintage. Good job. All right. Here's one for you. This one's a little bit longer. It's okay, Shelly. Just enjoy being here with us. <laughs> Your screen's freezing, Colty. Oh, no. Look at you guys. Hey, Sabrina, you need to let me know when your package arrives. Hi, Amy. Good to see you on. I'm trying to catch up to everybody. Everybody's getting the word distressed. That was a hard one, I thought. Okay, this is the last one. Let's see if you get it. I didn't get it in red either, sorry. I was kind of in a hurry. All right, this is your mixed up word here. Oh, don't drop your phone in the hot tub, Jamie. <laughs> that would not be good. Unless it's waterproof. But I don't know, the heat of the hot tub. Thank you, hon. I just want to make sure it gets there and everything. Your package arrived already? Good job. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, here it comes. Everybody's getting You guys are the smartest group ever. Just saying. You guys are super, super smart. I have not really been able to throw you on any game. Maybe one trivia. I don't know. But the word is template. Good job. Was everybody interested, everyone that was interested, able to go get the freebie from last week for the circle pockets? That was a fun, fun one too. All right, so this is the vintage Isaac shirt. As I said, it is an extra large, so if that won't work for you and you and you want me to draw a different name, um, let me know. Oh, you're welcome, Amber. Good job. Keep drying your hands. Okay. All right, so let's spin to win. Let's see. We're going to spin it really good, and my hand finger's going to land on Elizabeth Cram. Elizabeth Cram. Elizabeth You win. Are you still at the same address? I haven't mailed you anything in a while. Would you like the shirt? <laughs> I don't know. I've got, I've got to get back to my end. <coughs> um, got it. Got it. Oh, you don't have a printer. Yeah, it's hard if you don't have a printer. But it's, it's a little bit easier for me to share um, with everyone, you know, printables. Elizabeth Cram. <laughs> okay. Um, if, your shirt, if your address isn't the same, um, you can send me your address. Um, at prizes at Cindy A. Lewis or Cindy at, at Cindy A. Lewis at, dot com. I know I mailed you something some time back, but, um, but it's been a little while. So I want to make sure I get your address. Everybody have a great night, a great week. Watch for some more fun videos. Um, same address. Okay, perfect. So I'll get that in the mail this week to you. You guys, thanks for joining tonight. I had a fun time, and I hope that you'll make some of these hidden pocket notes, hidden note pockets. <clears throat>